Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Danny. I own an Etsy embroidery shop called Sweet Threads Gifts. I also own a baby blanket embroidery shop called Sweet Threads Baby Co. Both are on Etsy. Um, welcome to the vlog. <laughs> Today we're gonna be doing a tutorial on Sew What Pro on how to merge designs. This is the first of um, First of many, <laughs> I'm gonna be doing a series. A series, a series, that's what the word I was looking for. I'm gonna be doing a series on So What Pro. So this is the first, um, just how to merge designs. That's all, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thanks again for all the support. Talk to you soon, bye guys. All right guys, let's get started on the So What Pro tutorial. All right, let's try this, maybe, there we go. All right, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and open up Sew Up Pro. I keep mine pinned to the taskbar. It makes it easier for me to see it, to find it. Everything I pin to the taskbar makes it easier for me to find. That's the only reason why I do it. So we're going to create a, um, a baby blanket today. So let me go ahead and get my USB stick inserted. All right, it's ready to go. So here we go. Let's um, go to the desktop. This is just where I keep everything. It does not in any does not mean that you have to do it this way. This is just how I do it. Let's do a narwhal. Actually, I've already done a narwhal. Let's do let's do a digger. Now you know how I feel about these. These are I need to just delete them all. As I go, I've tried, I have over 350,000 files, just embroidery files. So I try to um, do them as I go because to go back and redo them all is insane. All right, so all I did was open it and then I came up here. Sorry, guys, I went too fast. Let me start over. All right, so you go to File, Open, and you're going to pick a file to open. And I always go up here first because I want to tell it what hoop I have. Now, if you have a 5x7 and that's the biggest hoop you've got, then that's what you've opened and that's what it is. However, I always go down to change mine to my Mighty Hoop, 9x8. Okay, so that's how you, this is your hoop up here. Right here is your hoop. And you can change it to anything. So let's go ahead, see how it's going up and down when obviously you want it to go side to side. So that's what this little button right here for is, is rotate. There you go. Now sometimes you have to rotate multiple times to get it right, but this was good for us. We were able to do that. Now when it comes to this design, um, I'm not a big fan of the bottom. So I will in fact delete it. You just click on the one you want to delete left right click and go down to delete threads and then we're gonna go nope not that one not that one not that one but that one we're gonna delete that so you gotta make sure you delete all three stitches you delete the tack down or the outline the tack down and then the satin stitch so i like this better for what i am using it for um but if you wanted to keep it more power to you all right to make this bigger or smaller I hold down the control key and then flick it with my mouse, my mouse wheel. So that is, we've got our image open, our file open design that we want. So now if you want to be done, you're completely done. You don't have to change anything at all. If you want to add a name to it, you're gonna come out here and go to file. That's my husband, I hope he's, I don't know if you're gonna be in this. So, okay, so anyways, you go up to file and you want to merge it. You want to, this is where you can throw different designs together. You can throw the name on it. You can do anything you want to here. Um, all of my stuff is kept on my desktop in a folder called embroidery. And then I just go, let's see, what name would we like to put on this? I think we're going to put, let's see. Do we want Charlie? No, we want. 
what do we want? Let's do Lego House. All right, and so what's a good name? Let's do Paul. Oops, that's lowercase. So we're going to go ahead and do the first one. We need an upper P. This is going to be way too big, but we're going to fix it. So just line it up where you want it. And like I said, don't worry about the size. We're going to fix it. So you can continue to do it this way. You can merge. Go up here. You can continue to do it this way if you want. That's completely up to you. I go up to this little button right here. It's called inserting letters from, excuse me, from info pane. So you just click on that and look, it brings up everything that you've been doing. So you can do it this way. P-A-U. That was too far away. P-A-U-L for Paul. It's a weird, I don't know what this looks like. Okay. So anytime that you want to change the size of something, you have two ways of doing it. You can either do it here, which I do not suggest. I highly, highly, highly do not suggest that. Um, it'll distort it and you don't want that. You want the um, percentages to remain the same. So you're gonna come up to tools and this is where you can do pretty much anything. But we're gonna go all the way down to resize pattern, okay? And we're gonna make it, this is where a guessing game comes in, maybe 80%. Mm, to be like that. All right, and this is where we're gonna center. Now you can either go like this to center it, which is usually what I do. Um, I think I still a little too big, in my opinion. Oops. Sorry, guys. So we want to go to Tools, Resize Pattern. Let's give it a 95. Let's see how that looks. There, that's better, I think. I think that's better. So you're going to capture all of it by using your right hand, I mean, excuse me, your left button on your mouse. Capture it all. This button right here, if you look at it, it says Center Pattern and Hoop. That's what we're going to do. We're going to center it. Now, because this is usually on a baby blanket, we're going to make sure, we're going to check the size again for the whole pattern, resize pattern. So, you know, let's bring that down to like a six. That's just for a sample size. This is not for an actual real size. But there we go. So that's that. That's how we did that one. Um, so let's go over, now that we've done one, let's go over everything. Um, here's your file, obviously file. It lets you do all sorts of stuff. This is where we're gonna save it. Um, edit, it's got some really cool stuff. I wanna teach you one of the things about the edit button that I really like. So we're gonna come up here and we're gonna go back, you know this button that we hit, that we hit to get all of these up, all of, all of your letters and stuff up. Let's go ahead and hit that again. And that's going to take you back. So I don't know about you guys, but when there's a lot of colors in the same one that are in, you know, an order like this, 8, 9, 10, and 11, um, on my machine, I have to go in and assign it a color for everything. Not necessarily what it does in Silver Pro, um, but when I go to my machine, I have to tell it what colors to use because it's a multi-needle. It's not a flatbed single needle. It's a flatbed single needle, you just rethread. You don't have to tell it different colors because you're controlling what thread goes when. When you've got a multi-needle, um, you have to let the machine tell it which needle to use. So that's what that comes in. But what, where I'm going with that is, is if I have all these in a row, I don't want to type the same number over and over and over again. So we're going to do, we're going to merge it. Um, it's also called join, I'm sorry, not merging. We're going to join the threads. So you can come over here to edit. And come over here to join threads. And if you watch, it's going to ask you which ones you want to do. We want to join all adjacent of the same color. If you just put join all threads of the same color, say you have one up here and one here and then two down here, you only want the two down here to be connected, but not these. It'll do the whole thing. And it's just a huge mess. So I always go to join the adjacent of the same color. 
and that'll take care of these. However, if you've got like, say four and five here, were the same color, it'll also put those together. So what I always do just to be safe, because I'm a safety girl, I always come over here and join the same threads starting at thread number. And here's where I want it to start. I want it to start right here on number eight. So I'm going to put eight in here. It's only going to affect eight down. So it's only going to affect on my mine right now, eight to 11, because 11 is my last thread. So we're going to go ahead and pull it number eight. And if you watch, it shrinks down. So I only have to hit it the one time. Um, so that's that one. And then we're going to just go up to file, save as. And it's really important that you click save as and not save because if you hit save, it'll save it as the original. Um, and it'll mess up your, your design. So make sure you always do save as. Come down here. I save all of mine on, I've called this one number one because it's the one that goes into my first machine. I do have a second one right here that I put in my second machine and I keep it separated with a little sticker. <laughs> so that's just what I do. And then you just save it and you're good to go. Now, say you wanna merge a design and a number. So let's go ahead, we're gonna open up. What I always do first is I always open up the, the number first. So let's go to open. This is gonna start us all over again. I keep all mine on the desktop. Let's just go to make it easy. I'm gonna do a number four. Okay, so file, open. And within here, find find your file you want to open. So go ahead and open it. And it's going to be, mine is a small 5x7. Um, so, of course, the first thing I'm going to do is change our hoop size over here to just hoop size. And I'm going to take mine, because I use a 9x8. 8x9, 9x8. Let me find it. There, nope, it's a 7. Here it is. So that's what I do. I go ahead and make it the big one. And I'm going to go ahead and take it and line it up on a one of our grid lines to make sure that we get it all done. So now let's say I want to now I'm going to merge. We're going to because we're merging the two together. We're we're setting them together. So let's see what we can find. Let's go into my files. Let's All right, let's move the B, merge the B. All right, you see how small it is? We know that that's not going to look very good, right? Right. So we're going to make it bigger. Resize pattern. Just to tell you, it's about a three by three. Um, let's make it, and I honestly don't know how big to make it. Let's just see. It might be too big. It might be too small. That's the good thing about the, the backup button. I don't like it. I think it needs to be a little bit bigger. So let's give it a... 4.5. Maybe that looks better. Now we're just going to line it up. We're going to center it. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. You can leave it like this and allow it to go over. Because what it's going to do is it's going to lay, I'm, I'm sitting here pointing at it like you guys can see it. Um, it's going to lay down the four first. If you look here, this is, these are the steps. These are the steps it's going to go through. Okay. So click on one. That's the outline. Then the tack down. And then it's going to lay down the satin stitch. And then it's going to come in here and start the beat. So you've got to keep in mind, if you were to put this down first, if you were to put the B down first and then put the number, the number would be on top of the B. So the B would not be covering up this part of the four the four would be covering up that part of the B. So you wanna just not do that. You wanna make sure that you're layering over the number and not under the number. Now you can go in, sorry, I'm gonna move this around. Let me make sure I'm still in the, okay, I still am. Doopy doop, all right. You can go in and delete all of this and delete the satin stitch, but it still leaves the tack down stitch and this because it's you can't remove the you can't remove the fabric 
can't even talk. I'm sorry, guys. So you're, you're going to want to, I'm sure there's a way to, I'm sure somebody's going to come back and say, oh, you can do this. You can do that. And I'm sure you can. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying I personally don't know how to. You can go in and remove these stitches, the satin stitch, and you can actually go in and you can delete it. You know, you can delete it using this too. Um, that's going to be for another vlog because that's very, very detailed and very, very in-depth. Um, but what I'm saying is, is even if you do remove all three, let's give this a different color. Okay. So even if you remove the, the outline, the tack down, and the satin stitch in here, it's not going to do you any good except to get rid of the satin stitch because you're still going to have to lay this fabric down. This one does not come like this. It doesn't follow along this because this isn't a pre-made design. You are creating this. So what I do, I just leave it and I put it over it because no matter what you do, the fabric's still going to be there. And that's just me. That's just my opinion. Um, that's why some things I technically personally would not create this pattern because I know that this is going to look funky underneath the yellow. Um, it's going to show underneath the yellow, especially if you do like a black or a pink outline. So I would not choose this one. That That's me. I wouldn't choose to make this one. It's super cute. You can do a lot with it. But in my opinion, this is just me. You can do it. I'm not saying you can. I'm not saying you shouldn't. I'm just saying for me, it doesn't fit what I like. So we would go up here and save it like we normally would. I'm not going to because it's not something I want to keep. Um, let me see. Okay, that's still good. All right, so that's how you do that, and then you simply take out your hard your your hard drive. <laughs> you simply take out your USB stick, and then you put it in your machine. So that's how you do that. I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, guys.